Well, Jerry, of course, every win is, is a big one, but that one just felt the reaction at the end particularly massive this evening. Yeah, because we knew what was on it tonight. You, you try and take it away from the players and you try and take it away from the fans and even from ourselves, but we knew the carrot tonight was to go third in the league, which was massive. We've come through a spell where um, we, we'd lost two games away from home and then our reaction to that's been brilliant. Um, and then tonight, it's another clean sheet here at Twerton. It's another unbeaten game here at Twerton. I think that's 15 clean sheets in the season. Um, best defensive record in the league and that's what gives you the base to go and win games and we win the game from a set piece we work on them we, we try different things with them as you've seen in recent games and Jack Batten's done ever so well to get across the near post with some really good delivery from Ross and it's a fine goal that wins the game sometimes you have to give credit to the opposition and Gary um, they've come and had a right good go tonight um, but they haven't managed to break us down but uh, full credit to his team they, they try to express themselves they try to not like a lot of teams have come in and just sit off us and try and block it out. At least they've tried to have a go at us. And, um, and credit sometimes goes to the opposition. But what they haven't done, and I'll repeat myself, is be able to get through us. We've changed our shape. I've had to go to a 4-4-1-1 and sacrifice one of the central defenders because I felt as if we were losing out a little bit and we had to cut out the lines. So um, we've done that and the reaction to that's good. Um, and it's another good shift from the players tonight to, to bring the three points home. Robbie Cunley was voted man of the match and he's being interviewed elsewhere at the moment. We thought he was absolutely outstanding tonight. Yeah, Robbie's, Robbie's in a really rich vein of form, but it's not just Robbie, it's Jack, it's Joe Romanski alongside him. I mentioned this before after games. Individuals are doing fine, doing more than fine actually for us, but what it is, it's always a collective. It's always about, not me, it's about all of our staff, it's all about all of the players. It's about the players that aren't even in the team, that are in the dressing room there. It's about the players that turn up before the game to get their treatment and making sure they're trying to be right for them on Saturday. Um, it's about players I've just signed on loan who clearance hasn't gone through for young young Sol Price, um, and he's here tonight, sat with us, wanting us to win, and he's ready to come in as well. Tom Smith going on, who hasn't any game time, and I thought his energy levels was terrific when he went on. And then Ryan Clark, I said, you need concentration. We didn't want a Truro, we didn't want to... And the longer the game goes on at 1-0, I spoke about it before, there's always going to be a chance for the opposition, and um, Ryan's save there at the feet of the players he's going through was terrific because it means he's kept his concentration for us. And in the end, it's a, it's a, it's a three points, and that's all that matters. Even harder earned when you think you didn't have Sean Rigg, Adam Mann or Andy Watkins and also Sol Price, as you mentioned, is clearance to go through. So that's a lot of attacking players. Yeah, I, I, I don't like making excuses, Mark, I really don't. We've got a strong enough squad. Um, there's enough players out there to go and get the result like they have tonight. But can't hide away from the fact there's a lot of quality missing there and those players, a lot of quality. And they've been unfortunate, but we've just got to get on with it. There's nothing we can do. We can't affect it now. We'll try and give them the treatment and get them back as quick as we possibly can. But we've got a group here that's fighting for each other, fighting for the club. They, they can sense something. They can sense something, and we want. You know, it's difficult because crowd aren't all going to be out tonight. It's a, it's a cold. The, the condition. Don't underestimate these conditions. It's windy. It's blustery. The pitch is cutting up. It's difficult to play our football. And um, we've had 500 odd fans turn out tonight. We haven't been able to get to that 800 mark or 1,000 mark because it's a Tuesday night. It's difficult. I know that. But Saturday, please, I'm calling the fans out. We need over a 1,000 here on Saturday. We really do. It's a massive game against Wildstone. A couple more results might see us consolidate and stay in this playoff spot, which I've been after. At the moment, we're riding high in third. But quickly, this league can grab you. And um, we won't rest on our laurels. Eight games left now. Eight massive cup finals for us. And um, we'll take each game literally as it comes. We'll, we'll do our homework on Wildstone. I've already done that. They're here tonight. Bobby's here tonight watching us. So we know about us. We need a big crowd in here Saturday getting behind us. And that you, the manager, obviously extended your stay recently. And uh, today it was announced Anthony Straker will be as well, keeping your captain on board for longer. Fantastic. I think I think Strakes has been immense since I've been at the football club. He's he's what I call a proper man. He's um, He turns up for training. He lives in Southampton. And he turns up for training Tuesday and Thursdays. He demands off himself and he demands off the group. Don't have to manage him one little bit. He manages himself and everyone around him. And um, I'm delighted to sign him because I think Strakes should be playing higher. He's, um, I don't tell me if there's a better left back in the league. I'm not sure if there is, and um, I'm I'm really really pleased. It wasn't complicated at all. It was so simple. I offered him a contract, and he says yes, and that's lovely. And that it's lovely that a player and your captain wants to sign and play for this football club, and he really does. He loves everything about the football club, and um, enjoys working with us as well, and we enjoy working with him. So he's another important cog in the wheel. Um, we've got some other offers out there, and hopefully, over due course, there'll be some more players committing to the club. Another left-sided player as well. You brought on for the final few minutes. Dan Ball, we haven't mentioned him much this season. Obviously, he's been injured. He's been out on loan. But 250th appearance tonight and a great servant. Well, that's fantastic for Dan Ball. He's, um, he's a lad that he's from where I'm from, actually, around my area, Cleve and Claverham. And 
he's a proper boy as well. Proper boy, proper man. Um, strong boy, keeps himself fit. Wants to, like another one wants to do so well for Bath City Football Club. He's not worried about himself. He wants to do well for the team, for the football club, and that's that's the characters we want. And um, yeah, his, he went out to do his games at Tiverton for a reason because I knew we needed players. Look at it now, we needed players for this running. And um, he's a, he's a great great servant for this football club. And I'd like to congratulate him on his 250th appearance. And um, hopefully, he'll go on to make many more. Unsure if there'll be left wing, but um, he's gone on and done a job for us there tonight. And um, He's, he's got a smile on his face. And as of everyone else, congratulations for the win tonight, Jerry. Thank you. Cheers.